Hi guys, welcome to Empath Joe. Thank you for joining me. I hope this reading resonates for you. Taurus, welcoming guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another love reading with myself, Joe, or Empath Joe, if you like, guys. Before we get started on your love reading, if you are wanting to book a personal reading with myself or you are wanting to check out the new range of crystals available on the website, then please do have a look in the description below where all the links will be available for you. Let's get started, Capricorns. Your first card is, I keep saying Capricorns, you're not Capricorns, you're Taurus. Taurus, let's get started on your love reading. Your first card is the Eight of Wands. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. So there is some communication coming in i want to say that perhaps this person lives at a distance and they are traveling to tell you this communication however there is some communication coming in somebody wants to work on a connection especially if you have recently split from somebody this could even be somebody from the past but somebody here wants to work on things with you here with the uh sorry with the eight of pentacles here taurus they are definitely wanting to work on things. They feel defeated without you, more than likely feeling lost without you with that five of swords there, okay? So they can't live without you, Capricorn. So they're coming in to tell you how much, you know, they care about you, how much you make them happy with the sun card. Your person could even be a Leo, doesn't have to be, but that's possible, yeah? Um, so yeah, they're coming in to tell you, you know, why you mean so much to them, how much you make them feel happy and how they feel without you and how much they want to work on things here with you. Um, they've probably been sending you small messages, but nothing too as in-depth as this communication will be. You are probably getting messages from them. Your person could even possibly be younger than you with the Page of Swords there, yeah? And then we have the Queen of Cups. So, yes, as I said, they are probably sending you messages, but not being very direct. You know, this communication is a bit more direct than what they are doing. The Queen of Cups here... Um, very, got lots of emotion but doesn't very much express them yeah or doesn't know how to sometimes more than likely show them or they think they're showing them but you know um, this communication is going to be a bit more direct and with the queen of cups as well you could be dealing with a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio don't have to be doesn't have to be either okay let's read on taurus and see what else tarot has to say for you we have your cards already that's the ace of wands lovely knight of pentacles oh and king of cups how lovely is that it's a right pair there so yeah so uh, perhaps you both have been holding back from sharing such deep emotions okay but once you do reconnect you know with that conversation it brings you in closer i think your person wants to um absolutely as i said in the beginning wants to work on things with you here but take it very much slow perhaps you were going at a faster pace before and you know things were missed conflict came up but you know it's having an understanding where your your person is having an understanding checking themselves and seeing where they have gone wrong not just where you have so they're wanting to come back and take it slow and steady so you can both understand each other a bit better okay because it's something you both want when i see a, a pair here when i see a pair in a tarot reading I, I, it's mutual energy here definitely mutual energy both wanting the same thing but they're coming correct this time absolutely they're wanting something new and they're being very creative with the way they go about it now yeah as opposed to the future i mean the past the future's looking much brighter taurus let's get you some um oracle cards Lovely. anything else for taurus that did turn we'll take that we have sacred beetle armor you have a mighty shield perhaps that's something you're just putting down now put down the shield taurus welcoming the love Dragon in Garden, a new world is born. Absolutely. A new world is born. Once you know that, you know, it's mutual feelings and stuff, things get a little bit better. Things get a little bit easier. So yes, Taurus, that has been your reading. I'm sending you lots of peace, love and light. 
Uh, thank you all for tuning in once again. Have a wonderful evening and take care until next time.